can you invite Abraham on board to this year one or two words with us? Yes, please clap for your place. Thank you so much. Uh, can you clap for him one more time? That, that was an amazing one, by the way. I think I can I can beat that voice. You see, um Salam alaikum everybody. Salam alaikum kwakerawa. Malaikum salam. Salam alaikum we Yes, yes, um, you know, I'm, 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 I'm really glad to be here today and then uh, I'm greeting everybody at the high table, starting from uh, Mr. Daffy and the entire crew and also to the street down here. Though I didn't plan anything, I didn't plan a speech, a, a special speech, but I believe whenever I'm given the mic to talk, I will always have something to say, especially when it has to do with the well of, of animals, you know. As uh, one of the drama guys we, we were saying, this is, this is a duty and in fact a collective responsibility for everybody. And I believe as an artist, we have been blessed with the voice to sing, but the question that I always ask myself is, what do I sing about? And I believe being an advocate don't, should, should be limited to just talking about peace. You know, when we talk about peace, it's a, it's a general thing. You can give peace to a human being, but the most, the, the, the bigger one is understanding how to give peace to every living creature. And I believe that's, that's what the real peace is all about. So me and Mariama, as musicians, as also activists, we take it as our responsibility to make sure that we always speak up, talking about the, 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 the rules of, the, of, of people, reminding them about their responsibilities of how to take care of the welfare of animals. And I believe I was inspired into this by my sister, of course, because uh, she had the chance to be with you guys on a, on a nationwide tour. But when Mariama came back home, to my surprise, even if Mariama see an ant, to kill the ant will be a problem. You understand? So if you are killing an ant, before killing it, you have to argue with Mariama first. So I was like, this is a new Mariama. This is not the sister that I used to know. That I used to know. And from there, as, as a peace advocate, I understand that, yo, this is, this is something, something really, really important. And when I visited you guys, I was inspired to another level. You see? Talking to Mr. David and the entire crew has changed our perspective of how we are seeing animals. And since then, I don't want it to be limited to just me having the feeling that I should take care of the, I, I should consider the welfare of the animals, but using the voice to advocate for things. And I told them the last time that I'm not just going to come here today, say a speech, do an entertainment and go. You see, this is the starting of a new era with me and Mariama adding our voices, singing songs about animal welfare, going to places talking about animal welfare, just to make sure that we advocate, you know, just to make sure that the message is everywhere. So that will be our responsibilities as ambassadors. And to be honest, we are really, really, really happy to be here once again. So thanks so much for, for, for giving us this platform to speak. I'm not that, that that's you know, I'm saying I'm not really, really that guy when it comes to standing here. I'm more with the melodies and harmonies, but better still, it was a pleasure being here. Thanks so much to everyone. Thank you, welcome. As he rightly said, we are more of melodies, you know, and uh, messages to give to the young ones and the entire Gambia and the world at large. Um, our sister. Um, our sister Maria, do you have one or two words to share with? Yes. Please, a round of applause for Maria. Maria, welcome. Welcome to come again. 
Hello, you know I'm short, so I have to move from this. <laughs> yeah, I need to accept how I am. Um, it's a pleasure to be here once again. Slawaleku. Slawaleku no yunale. Salam alaikum everybody. Waalaikum assalam. Salam alaikum yeah. Salam alaikum yeah. Waalaikum assalam. Salam alaikum yeah. Waalaikum assalam. Give it up, baby. I mean, it's it's really like an honor being here today. Uh, because I'm just gonna say what Bahama just said. Uh, we're just not any artists blessed with the voice just to sing about lively things or whatever. Um, what inspired us to do music is advocacy. We have to drive from, you know, our daily activities, what we see from the communities, what we see from the environment. And then blessed with the voice, we felt like we need to convey those, whatever emotions that happen around us into music that will like be impactful, that will send a positive message to the whole wide world. And animal welfare is something that has triggered me personally. Because I, call, I was lucky enough to join Mr. Dafe, uh, Mr. Dumbia, and the whole Animal Welfare Association in the Gambia on a training. So I did the Animal Welfare training and then we went on a nationwide tour. This is what made a huge impact towards my understanding about animals. Yeah? We are all creatures. So if you cannot love animals, you, you cannot love each other. That's, that's, that's the simple logic I've learned from it. And the, to be honest, uh, going around in the whole country, sending a positive message to farmers and individuals about how they need to be treating their animals was really inspiring so, so, so much. So coming back home, like the mission needs to continue. So this idea of making us an ambassador is something really huge. I don't know if it's uh, mean anything to you guys, but it means the world to us. Because this is the purpose why we are singing. The reason why we are expressing like this voice is to send out message, is to impact the lives of people. So if we are not impacting anything, there is no meaning in us, you know, putting out any word out there. So you guys gave us a platform, and we must commend you for that. Uh, thank you so much for choosing us. Yeah, we are so happy to be here, and we love you. Hoping to continue for a, like a long product collaboration with the animal welfare family, because we are family. And thank you for having us, Mr. Dafe, the high table, the school administration, the students, the animal welfare activists, uh, advocates. Yeah, we are here. This is funny. I'm up on my hands spot. We are here for you. We are serving you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mariam. Mariam, dear Uh, oh, well, that, that is a hope for me to have a contract signature done in a few days. Please, uh, for your information, I'm going to be signed by two of them. You are going to have a new business here in town. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. We are also very, very happy to have you here and for accepting this role that you have been given. I know the ones who suggested you knows you people very well and you know that you are not going to disappoint us and you are not going to disappoint any one of them thank you so much we are glad to have you around and next my man next 
our own colleague, our own brother, the staff, by the name, the famous, point, the famous, Mr. CDB. He will give us a, a piece today. You know, they are very, very technical. They are very, very intelligent. They are good. You see, the point, don't worry, even they, they don't come prepared. Just tell them you have something to do. You have to give us a piece. Don't worry, just two minutes. They already have something in their hand to give you. So, Mr. Sidibe, the stage is yours. Hello. How are you guys doing? Oh, that's why all hell breaks. It's in my country, everybody is fine, even if you are not fine. I know for certain that some of you are thinking about how you reach home because you don't have fear to go home. Yeah. But you say you are fine. Some of you are hungry, see, yeah. Yet yeah, you say you are fine. Some of you don't leave anything at home, but you are said you are fine because it is okay to be okay in my country, even if things are not okay. So when will you not be fine? When? Hello? How are you? I am hungry. You have to be fine, you know? Be fine. <clears throat> yeah, I am I am I am speechless, you know. Indeed. You know. You see I didn't prepare to decide any point today. Because uh the time they told me about the launching. I was like, something came to my mind. Last year, I was asked by someone, why do you always write animal welfare point? My response was, when you feel what I feel, you understand why I always write animal welfare point. So today, you know, I came, I saw the guy reciting animal welfare So that means a lot to me, mean, you know, the person has now understood why I do that and all of their point. You know. And I once told Mr. Dabe, okay, I don't know when, but one day every point we want to write a piece and all of their point. So we do this. We have Mariama and we, we compose an all of their piece. You know, so I will have her on board before she will come. So we do it together. I'm suffering from common call in the door, but I have to do something because this school is my school and seeing you guys, you know, that means a lot to me. When I pour, I see my, mo my mother, my own mother, you know, my colleagues and principal staff, my own strengths, that mean a lot to me. So let's do this. We have Mariama. It's called Year Monday. You always Year Monday, right? You don't know your man? No. You don't know your man? Okay.
It's sad to know that when people die, we die, but I don't die, we smile, please. It's not a good sign, my friend. I know you don't care about him, no, you don't care about him. Thank you. so that you can have the voice of Liyama. Yes, should uh, be guided. Let's hear this. My name is Poet Sidi. I am a poet. I I'm Sidi, but my name is still Poet Sidi. But today, who am I? I'm an animal welfare advocate, so I would say, you see, in my country, it is sad to know that when people die, we cry, when animals die, we smile, and that is not a good sign, see, my friend. I know that some people don't care, but hell no, they should care, because animals are sentient beings like us, they feel what we feel, but I don't know why, on sin, they suffer, on heart, they cry in agony, they linger in loneliness, they die, and nobody Okay. Why can't we understand that animals are sentient beings like humans be? And they have freedom. And freedom number one is animals should be free from 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 animals to live without fear. We must feel them. We must understand that they are sentient being like us. Not today, but someday I believe that they will live without fear. 
without pain, injury, or disease. They will live comfortable with the help of animal welfare advocates, the like of Mr. Dr. Dave, Mr. Dumea, Mr. Drame, Mr. Chan, and you name them. Together, we will improve animal welfare in the Gambia. Thank you so much. Someday, I believe you guys, you guys that are sitting here, we will sit and you will do the same for us because I am living spoken word. And you guys are coming on and please i am pleading with you advocate for animal welfare let it be part of your plans your career you will never regret it be a point or a pointers you must have a vision you must believe i have to be the voice of the voices you know animals cannot pay you but do you know that if you speak for them, someone out there who loves them and can't do it will always pray for you so please, as you take the party, the lady is a fight because they will provoke you know, said, you know, you, I don't know what, so many things, but be ready to be an advocate that will impact change, that will inspire people to do as you do. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Idibe. Coach Idibe, sorry, you said today you are not a point. Animal Advocate CDB. Today you are on a point, as you said. And thank you so much, Mariama, for the wonderful performance. And of course, the students. Thank you so much.